Hello, and thank you for your interest in our current research paper. Already in the first trial, over 100 years ago, Leonard Noon performed allergen-specific immunotherapy with heat denatured grass pollen extract. Thus, by definition, he used allergoids. Under today, allergoids, which are allergens with destroyed conformational IgE epitopes, for instance by chemical modification, are well accepted standard in clinical use. However, the tolerogenic potency of allergoids compared to native allergen extracts is controversially discussed and mechanistic side-by-side -side studies are rare. Therefore, our aim was to investigate the immunological effects of experimental allergen-specific immunotherapy applying high-dose extracts and low-dose allergoids with and without adjuvants. For this purpose, we developed a novel murine model of house dust mite allergen-specific immunotherapy that is based on adjuvant-free intranasal sensitization and subsequent subcutaneous immunotherapy. Hence, this model should better mimic human allergy as it avoids broad, unspecific immune activation by adjuvants such as ALO. Interestingly, the high-dose extract AIT and the low-dose allergoid AIT showed, showed comparable potency to control allergic airway inflammation as monitored by inflammatory cell infiltration, Th2 cytokines in the lung, and lung function. However, the low-dose allergoid ART was less effective in inducing a potentially protective IgG response. To overcome this potential drawback, we combined the low-dose allergoid ART with the adjuvants microcrystalline tyrosine and monophosphoryl lipid A. By this, we were able to promote Th1-inducing mechanisms as reflected by the induction of interferon gamma-producing T helper cells in the lung interferon gamma production by draining lymph node cells, as well as by the reduction of Th2 cells in the lung. Moreover, combining the low-dose allergoid AIT with these adjuvants enhanced the humoral response and led to significant induction of total as well as specific IgG1 levels. What we conclude from this novel experimental AIT model is that low allergen doses are able to induce cellular and humoral mechanisms counteracting Th2-driven allergic inflammation by using allergoids in combination with dose-adjusted adjuvants or adjuvant systems. I would like to thank you for your attention.